All right, welcome to Last Week on Xbox One. I'm your host, Uncle Jesse, not to be confused with this other guy from Full House. Each week we'll be taking a look at the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One subreddit. Alright, the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is Traders 2 posted a link for a Facebook page that he created for Halo Wars 2. After 4 years and 9 likes, he really feels like he is the key influence into getting that game made. Actually, Super Woody 64 had a great post saying, I rink I'll have a magic hat number 9 in celebration of the announcement. Cheers! I don't have any magic hat number 9, but I do have Shipyard Pumpkinhead. Not bad. 21 and over, folks. This is gonna be awesome. I don't know if I can digitally do any effects or anything like that for the mind blowingness, but it was a uh, Dare Double Zero posted a link over at the IGN UK site announcing that all of the Gears of War games will be supported by backwards compatibility. Also, if you buy Gears of War Ultimate Edition, so this remastered upcoming Gears of War game, that if you play the multiplayer at any point in time, from when it's released through the end of the year, you'll automatically get all of the Gears of War backwards compatibility <laughs> editions for free that you'll be able to play on your Xbox One. Make sure to pick up that game. I'm all 110% behind that, especially now that they're making this announcement. I already own all of the Gears of War games. Judgment was, you know, it was okay. It was good. Um, but Gears 1, Gears 2, Gears 3, completely solid, solid games. Make sure to check that out. Make sure to pick those up. This is going to be a great addition to the Xbox. And by the way, if this is just your jumping point into Gears of War, there's no excuse here. No excuse whatsoever for you not to pick this up. Earlier this week, while at Gamescom, Mr. Jonga posted a photo of the recently announced Agent Lock controller, stating, this is beautiful. There's been a lot of back and forth going on between which is the better of the two designs, Agent Lock or Master Chief. I'm going to throw my hat into this arena and say, Master Chief, baby. You've completed your mission, Spartan Lock. is just beginning. Forerunner93 posted a link to an article over on Kotaku that's stating how the recently released Rare Replay allows you to play more Nintendo 64 titles on your Xbox One than you can on a Wii U. Radiant Viper posted a great comment by saying, as an owner of both Xbox One and the Wii U, this is a little sad. Nintendo should try to put every game possible from their older consoles on the Wii U. Nostalgia is a big part of their history. Not saying they don't still make good stuff. Imagine how much they would sell if all of those nostalgic games were available in one place. As it is now, the virtual console on the Wii U is just decent. You know, the big question on everyone's mind is, where the hell is Goldeneye? Crackdown 3 will blow up the way you play games today by introducing a revolutionary new multiplayer experience using 100% destructible environments. By connecting to the Microsoft Cloud, play with 20 times the computational power of your Xbox One and experience unrelenting destruction and mayhem. Crackdown 3! Crackdown 3. How can you not be excited for Crackdown 3? Starlight777 posted an article from GamesRadar stating that with the latest iteration of Crackdown 3 and their newest Microsoft Cloud Computing technologies, this will enable the Xbox One to essentially become the most powerful gaming console ever. How can you not be excited 
for that game after seeing the footage from Gamescom. It just looked unreal, the amount of destruction and <laughs> detail that they're going to be able to get into with all of that. Uh, I'm all for Microsoft Cloud. All for, if my Xbox needs to be connected to the internet 24-7 in order to be able to play games like that, sign me up. Because guess what? My Xbox hasn't moved a goddamn spot since I bought it two years ago. <laughs> thing is always connected to the internet. I have no issues with that. I'm not working on a submarine somewhere or off in a remote island working anywhere. The Xbox does not move from its place at all. So, you know what? If I need to be connected to the internet, take advantage of that. I'm 110% behind that. So, sign me up. Sign me up. All right. That was this week's episode. Not too bad. Wanted to personally thank you guys for leaving all of your feedback and comments down below. Also, thank you for liking and subscribing. That really does help. Getting very close to a thousand subscribers. Really excited about that as well. Head on over to the reddit.com slash r slash xbox one subreddit to join in on all the fun and stay on top of the latest xbox one news and trends. Um, also down below is a listing of all the posts that I've reviewed today. So you can use the links there to go directly to those articles to read through all the fun comments and the back and forth and all that good stuff. All right. Well, thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you next week. Bye now.